Hey everybody, Chris here from It's Mean Made, and lately I've been getting a lot of questions about the new Prime Towers in Bamboo Studio 2.0. Specifically, why do they look different, and what actually has changed besides they look different? So in this video, I'm going to be breaking it all down. We'll go over the, what's new, why it matters, and why these new towers can make your prints come out cleaner and make them more reliable. So, let's go ahead and get into this video. Alright, so if you've been printing in Bamboo Studio 2.0, you might have already noticed that these Prime Towers, they look different. And guess what? You're not crazy and you're not imagining things. They are actually different. So, in this video, we're going to dive into everything that's changed in the new ribbed Prime Towers, and honestly why I think it's a solid upgrade for multicolor and multi-material prints. So, let's get into first, what a Prime Tower is for those of you that might be really new to this hobby. A Prime Tower is that little sacrificial structure off to the side that your printer uses to purge filament between colors or material changes. It keeps transitions clean and prevents leftover filament from messing up your prints. All right, so let's get into what actually is new in Bamboo Studio 2.0 when it comes to these Prime Towers. So first up is the design. The Prime Tower now comes with an optional ribbed tower style. Instead of that old blocky tower we're all used to, this one has angled supports, kind of like braces, that run along the sides. Think of them as tiny structural reinforcements. So you might be wondering, why are we changing to a new style of Prime Tower? Well, there's a few reasons for this. The old tower could wobble or detach on taller prints. I know personally, I had those issues when they got bigger. And the old style used more filament than it needed to. And sometimes, the old style wouldn't hold up as well if the nozzle bumped into it if there was a little bit of filament oozing out of it, and that was kind of the purpose of a Prime Tower. Now, with this new ribbed design, it's way more stable, it takes up less space on your build plate, it uses less filament overall, and it's tougher during those longer AMS prints where the tower is getting taller. But this update isn't just about the geometry, it's also about smarter behavior. You can now set different purge volumes per filament, which means less waste and more control. Also, the slicer groups capable filaments together inside the tower and separates the ones that don't adhere well to each other, which is pretty nice. And if you're using stronger materials, it uses those on the outer walls to give it that extra support. Bamboo even added transition layers. So the bottom four layers before the filament change are also solid. And the first new layer is also solid and prints slower. This prevents weak spots in the tower where it could have split in the past. But it also gets better than that. The tower now includes these internal ribs, adding extra strength without a ton of extra filament. And the travel paths are a lot smarter. The nozzle avoids dragging over the tower after each filament change, unlike the old way. It starts at a skip point to prevent blobs on the outer walls. Just these small tweaks go a long way in keeping your Prime Tower functional and cleaner throughout the print. And you can also fine tune your tower settings. With the rib length and width, the fill speed, the line gap, and inside the tower, you can round the corners of the fillets as well to make it a smoother finish. So if you like dialing in your prints, Bamboo is giving you now more tools to make the towers work the way you want them to. Now, one thing I should mention, I have seen quite a few comments about people complaining that they can't adjust the size of the Prime Tower anymore. And that is due to the rib wall. Now, if you want to adjust your size and have a custom size, all you have to do is turn off the rib wall feature. So once you turn that off, you can control the width of your prime tower again. So if I wanted this to be 10 millimeters wide, it will be 10 millimeters wide, and there we go. Now, just note that you are still have the same amount of mass, you're just squeezing it in a different width. So if I say 50, 
then it's going to be skinnier that way. And if I say 10 back to where I was at, you can see that now it's going to be going this way. So if you want to adjust the size of your prime tower, just remember all you have to do is remove rib wall. So for those of you that don't know when to use a prime tower, it's essential for multicolor prints, mixed material prints, and smooth time-lapse mode. For tiny color swaps near the end of a print, you might skip it, but for most AMS projects, especially those with mid-layer color changes, the Prime Tower is still your best friend. So the new ribbed Prime Tower in Bamboo Studio 2.0, it really is just a smarter structural upgrade. It's sturdier, it's more efficient, and it's less wasteful, without you even needing to do anything. So, if you haven't updated your slicer yet, you might want to give it a shot because it it's really nice to know that your prime towers are not going to just break off. And that's pretty much it for this video. So if you have any other questions about these prime towers, or you just have other issues or something you want to know more about Bamboo Studio 2.0, leave me a comment and I'll see what we can do. All right, well, thank you so much for watching, and I wish you a great day, and we'll go ahead and see you over here in this video.